So, I will be replacing the existing 80 gig hard drive on this Dell Dimension 8400. Bought it brand new uh, years ago. I want to say back in 2005. And it's still running. It's got Windows XP. And uh, an Intel Pentium 4. 3.4 gigahertz dual core processor. So it's still actually um, a pretty good uh, desktop PC. And uh, I just want more space. What can I say? So what I did was I found all of the documentation, all of the uh, uh, CDs for the drivers for the, the different things there. And also a uh, Windows XP um, OEM CD um, for uh, this particular Dell. The Dell also came with a keyboard and a 17 inch monitor, flat screen well what passed for flat screen back in those days and uh, I'll be using all that to just hook this baby up and upgrade alright so this is before the before and I'm gonna power this on and make sure that it comes up Let's, uh, okay, as you can see, let's see, yeah, it's a 3.40 gigahertz Pentium 4 CPU, dual processor, okay, uh, drives, hmm, okay. Mm hmm, port. Alright, you can see that this is attached to a uh, the serial ATA port SATA0 drive details 80 gig okay so uh, let's go ahead let's go escape Okay, so that's the before shot, and you can see I don't have that much on my uh, PC, what I've been doing is seeing if I could actually do a Windows 7 upgrade on this puppy, uh, which will come in the future, if at all. 
but uh, you can see I have uh, Microsoft Office which I'll re reinstall and let me go ahead and turn off the computer and so we have the before before shot Windows is shutting down. It does work very well. All right. there is an arrow you can't uh, this arrow. yeah that arrow it says make sure that arrow is pointing up I, mm -hmm. I can't oh yeah yeah I can yeah. see it a little bit mm -hmm. but the arrow is pointing up so that it's ready to uh, open so since this is a clamshell type um, setup it has uh, a button on the bottom and a button on top and if all goes well what it says to do is to grab the button grab both buttons and push in and the top should open so we'll do that we'll do that we'll do that it has arrived. Your item is inside. How cute. <laughs> All right, so this is the drive I'm going to be using to replace uh, and it just came in the mail today rather uh, via amazon.com so let's go ahead and open her up it is a 500 gigabyte Western Digital SATA 16 megabyte, megabyte cache hard drive and it's the the blue anyway. series on with the uh, install pushing the two buttons, one on the bottom, one on the top, and it's supposed to just open up like a clamshell. And by George, look at that, it does. And I guess I should go on this side. 
So let's move this thing over. So, one can see a little better. That's what the insides look like. This closer. <clears throat> oh, dang. <laughs> okay. All right. This is the old hard drive right here. Uh, this is the, these are the uh, CD drive and the DVD drive. Uh, we've got the RAM right here. There are four, four one gig uh, so let's see and of course here are the cards that go to the uh, the video, uh, the modem, and the firewire drives. Okay. So. Let's see how easy it is to take apart and put back together again, eh? Okay, it looks pretty straightforward to, to take out. I'm gonna take out this P3 connection and keep in mind that's what I'm gonna reconnect it to. And this is the power cable. So, off it comes. And, uh, I'm wondering if that's the I okay. Anyway. We pinch this. Oh wow, far out. It actually has Woo, it actually has a extra an extra mount. This is really good. Okay. Oh, this is way cool. Alright. Let's see what I can do here. I'll pull this out. And this out. Thank you, Dell. Look at this. Dell comes with a uh, an extra drive mount thing. So, for all those of you who bought an 8400 back in the day and already know about this, uh, forgive my uh, enthusiasm, but this is the first time I've uh, actually done anything like this uh, on my own computers. <laughs> so, <laughs> who'd have thunk? At any rate, alright, so, I'm going to take the drive and open it up. Awesome. And, uh, let's see. Looks like I'll need a um I'll need a Phillips screwdriver so I'll be right back <sighs> okay so I am just uh, imitating basically what I see um, the original drive uh, hooked up like and I am going to put the mounts on, mount hardware, mounting hardware, and I'm 
my thanks to Dell. Holy moly. All right. I'm not even going to remove the uh, the other drive. I'm just going to install the second drive. And uh, it looks like it has both an IDE and SATA uh, connections. Oh, no. I lied. <laughs> okay. Never mind. So, I put the connectors back on here. And just reverse the way I put them in. Put the power cord in. Those were the only two connectors that, that I took out of the old drive. And, uh,. All right, now it would be interesting to see, very interesting to see, if it recognizes the drive at all. Because after all, we are talking about Windows XP. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this. Press the power on button and turn on, oops, turn on this. You have two set up. Let's see. Let's see what it says about the drives, eh? Alright. Oop. Oop. Now, we see. Oops. Uh, it is actually drive zero. And it does recognize that I have a serial ATA, SATA zero. Um, drive ID, blah 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 blah, that's the kind of drive that I got, and it shows capacity is 500 gig. Yes. Okay, so, uh, it did recognize the drive, and so my next step is to see if I can go ahead and install my Windows, uh, my Dell Windows XP and all the drivers, etc, etc, etc. So let's take, uh, Let's take all of these drives, I mean a uh, CD documentation, and start installing. I'll be back. Looks like it's going to load uh, the Windows CD. This is, you know, from the 
from my uh, documentation all the disks and stuff like that so I'm reloading Windows XP Home Edition and uh, it's going it's going to go through its process <sighs> so there's the licensing Just see, that's all this, all this, all this, blah, blah, blah. So, F8, I agree. I do. <sighs> and partition space. <sighs> that is... 476 gig. Okay, that's cool. Uh, hit enter. Okay. This partition must now be formatted. Alright. NTF file system. Alright. It's going to format the, the, uh, the hard drive. Okay. Hmm, we're up to 59% in about 30 minutes, so another half an hour and we should be done formatting. Uh, just checking in and I'll be back. Okay, we're up to... 85% and counting. Oh, ho, so, uh, set up, finished formatting the drive, and now it's copying files. This is really good. Let's try F1.
tiếp Typical settings mm. Let's see Boing So let's see. We got memory. Let's see if that is being hurt. And exit. Ooh. Not right now. There we have it. Let's uh, turn off computer. Let's do a that was a quick shutdown. Right, let's uh, let's now. Oops. Mm. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Turn it on again. Starting in drive zero. Hmm. 
So there we have it. So I'm going to be installing my wireless uh, uh, wireless card. Let's see. <laughs> And monitor and all that kind of stuff, but looks like uh, the uh, drive upgrade was successful, and I'm good. Uh, I think uh, I'll have an ep epilogue and show what the computer looks like after I've made all the uh, uh, adjustments. So, okay, end result for the swap out hard drive and the reinstall of Windows. Actually, let's do something. Hundred gig, okay. Get into the network. Um. This is the software I used, courtesy of. A-O-M-E-I, it's called Backupper, and uh, I downloaded this particular freeware and did a complete uh, system sector-by-sector -sector backup of the 80 gig hard drive, and uh, then after I reinstalled the Windows XP, I did a restore, and uh, it gave me all of the settings from basically copied the uh, contents of the 80 gig hard drive onto the 500 gig um, hard drive and now I have everything that I had on my uh, 80 gig hard drive all the drivers are uh, intact um, I can get on the web so there you have it um, thanks a lot for watching <laughs>